Hi everyone, welcome back to another Ifta vlog of this year. Hope you all are doing good and hope your fasting is going smooth and healthy. This video was supposed to be a normal day in my life kind of vlog, which had to change in the content when Rihan asked if he could invite two of his friends who lived in the neighborhood. And it was on the night before this day, so I insisted him to call them and invite them to come home tomorrow as I'm anyway preparing myself to take a video. But definitely the menu will change if they are ready to come on a short notice. And yes, they happily agreed and I mentally got ready. But I didn't have any time to get ready the previous day or night, everything was done on this day. Yet I decided the menu before sleeping so that I know what to be done first and last. Here yeah, again, I'll be sharing the video as a vlog rather than just the recipes. The timestamp for each recipes will be in the description box so that it's easy for you to check. I am a bit anxious when kids come home to have food because some are choosy. We don't know if they would like the taste or not. One of them is slightly lactose intolerant so I had to be careful of the ingredients I use for the menu. So on this day, I didn't prepare the semolina warm milk. I even was planning to prepare lassi for a refreshing drink but then later had to drop. So there were slight changes in the menu. It was a weekend so my husband was there to help. I gave him all the chopping and cutting jobs which made the rest of the cooking easier. I always start to cook only after cleaning the kitchen to make it a fresh start. For snacks, prepared prawn snack and chicken parcels. And for that cooking chicken as usual with turmeric powder, salt, crushed black pepper and enough water. For the prawn snack which is actually named prawn patti, I made it in different shape. For marinating the prawns, Mix 1 teaspoon red chilli powder, half teaspoon turmeric powder, 1 tablespoon ginger garlic paste, salt, half teaspoon crushed black pepper, 2 tablespoon coconut oil and mix all together. Now add in half kilo prawns and mix well. Keep that aside for some time. Now dinner will be rice rotis with chicken curry and for the curry I roasted coconut with some ingredients in it. In my first Ramadan vlog of this year I had added whole spices and someone requested for a recipe with spice powders measurement. So I guess this recipe will help for that. I added 2 cups grated coconut, 4 shallots, 2 garlic cloves, 1 teaspoon fennel seeds, a handful cashews, few curry leaves, 2 or 3 tablespoons coconut oil. Now slow roasting till it turns light brown shade. Frying the prawns now. Prawns take very less time to cook, hardly 3 minutes on one side. Once the prawns are done, transfer to a bowl. In the same pan, add more oil if needed. Then add a handful of crushed shallots. Saute till it becomes soft. Now goes in 1 tablespoon ginger garlic paste and saute till the raw smell goes. If you are using tiger prawns or large size prawns, chop or cut into small pieces. Do not make a paste. 
and that's from my husband all the chopping and slicing is complete now in goes few chopped green chilies add 1 cup grated coconut and roast for few minutes now add the prawns and mix well adding a bit of salt and this filling is done i'm transferring to a bowl so that it cools down Moving on to the next filling and that's chicken for the chicken parcels. Again heat a pan and heat some oil. Here I'm using coconut oil but you can use any oil of your choice. It all matters with the flavor you are used to or love having. Fry some curry leaves and then saute almost two small onion that's sliced. Some of you asked why do I add a lot of curry leaves and that to first in the oil. I do that to flavor the oil with curry leaves which in fact gives a better taste to the dish I'm preparing. Curry leaves and coconut oil is an amazing combination and the aroma just spreads around in the house. This is totally optional but for me it's something mandatory for my dishes. Once the onion is soft and translucent, add 1 tablespoon ginger garlic paste and 1 or 2 tablespoon chopped green chilies. keeping it covered and cook for 3 or 4 minutes on low flame add half teaspoon garam masala powder half teaspoon turmeric powder a big pinch of kasuri methi or dried fenugreek leaves mix well for a minute and then goes in the cooked chicken that was chopped to small pieces you may also shred the chicken if you have enough time finely goes in chopped coriander leaves i had added enough salt while cooking the chicken so not adding any more transfer to a bowl and let that cool down Next is preparing the curry. How much of a beautiful cookware you have. The taste you get on using a clay pot is something different. I'm grinding the roasted coconut along with some water. Heat coconut oil and fry few curry leaves as usual. Add two tablespoons ginger garlic paste and two or three tablespoons chopped green chilies. Fry this for some time till the raw smell goes. Add around two handful of sliced onion. or i can say this comes to around 3 small onion that's sliced now add 1 kilo chicken pieces here i've used boneless cook till it changes the color 
in goes two small tomatoes that's chopped mix for a minute add a handful chopped coriander leaves add one and a half tablespoon coriander powder half teaspoon turmeric powder half to three four teaspoon garam masala powder mix well adding some salt there will be water in the chicken while it's cooking but if you want you can add half cup hot water and cover till the chicken is cooked Once the chicken is almost done, add the coconut cashew paste along with some hot water and cook till it boils for a minute. Final ingredient is dried fenugreek leaves or kasuri methi. This adds a good flavor and aroma to the curry. Add almost a tablespoon that's crushed. And that's done. The very first thing I did in the morning as soon as I entered the kitchen was soaking two cups red matta rice in water. And that's for the prawn snack. If possible, do wash the rice and soak overnight and you may use any kind of rice you have. Not necessary to have red matta rice but red matta rice is the best. Now drain. You will have to grind and make a paste out of it. This will be the covering of the fish snack and to flavor it, you will have to grind along 1 cup grated coconut, 2 or 3 green chilies, a handful shallots, 1 teaspoon fennel seeds, 1 teaspoon cumin seeds and some curry leaves. These measurements are for the 2 cups soaked rice. If you want you can add a little bit of water to grind it to a smooth paste. To this I added around 3 tablespoons rice flour, 2 or 3 tablespoons of oil and I had added some salt as well. Mix and you get a dough texture. Using a banana leaf to shape the snack. I had forgotten to add coriander leaves to the prawn mix, so adding some now. Spread some oil onto the leaf. Take a good amount of the dough and flatten with your palm on the banana leaf. Now add 1 or 2 tablespoons of the prawn filling in the center. And now gently fold and cover. Press the ends and it will come in shape. Do all the same way. Try to keep the outer layer a bit thick because when you fold it might tear if it's thin layer. All these will go in a steamer. The water is kept for boiling. I'll place this on top once it's ready. Meanwhile preparing the pancakes for making chicken parcels. To a blender add 1 cup all purpose flour and half cup corn flour. Add some salt and 2 or 3 tablespoons of oil. To 1 cup all purpose flour and half cup corn flour you will have to add 1 and a half cup water and blend. You will have to steam this for 20 minutes. And that's the pancake batter. Now 
Now heat a pan and prepare a pancake just like a thin dosa. You will have to wait till the white color on it vanishes and then flip. Now I'm placing a tablespoon of the filling at this point of time and covering it from four sides making to a parcel shape. Now if you don't want to do it this way because you think you might burn your hands from it, you can take the pancake out from the pan and do the filling later. You will have to put some flour paste to stick. If it was done from the pan itself, it would stick on its own. Now to coat the chicken parcels, break and whisk one or two eggs. In another plate add some breadcrumbs. Dip each in the egg and then in the breadcrumbs. I will fry them a little later. Final process is the rice rotis and for that I am cooking the flour to make a dough. Now, highly requested was to know the brand of this non-stick press. I got this from a shop in Kerala during our vacation and this was bought I guess in 2018. It's quite old and still in good condition. I get really thin rotis from this. I even make chapatis with this. My husband helps in cooking the rotis, so before he comes for it, giving a quick clean up to the kitchen countertop and sink. While he cooks, on the other hand, I'll be frying the chicken parcels. Now for a refreshing drink, I made lemonade. I am slicing lemon to small pieces. Adding the lemon pieces to the water dispenser in which I will be making the lemonade. Along with that goes in mint leaves and squeezing some more lemon. I dissolved sugar in water and then added to the jar. Added a big block of ice I had kept in the freezer. 
adding some salt to get that lemonade flavor. We'll add more ice cubes later. Many of you had asked about this black drink I serve on some days. This is Vimto. After getting fresh, I placed everything on the serving dishes and started to keep the table ready. The prawn snack was quite big enough, so to have it better, I sliced each in half. And there are the kids. We asked them to feel comfortable and enjoy the meal. So me and my husband had our food later after just breaking the fast with the dates. Then later I served dinner. It was really satisfying and sweet to hear appreciation from them. And of course the later part, cleaning the kitchen. Few leftover fruits will be placed in the freezer and I make fruit slush from it. So that's all for today's video and I hope you enjoyed watching it. Do try the recipes like I always see and do send me your feedback. Take care everyone. See you with another video. Until then, bye bye.